What is up YouTube back in with another video in today's video man I'm going to go over some of the best class setups um, That I believe can carry you through the next couple of weeks for season one Obviously these class setups will be subject to change obviously for later seasons and later times But currently I think these are the new best loadouts for some of these guns I know I may have made videos on them in the past some of these guns and on the uh, community, community app I had also posted these loadouts um, but obviously, um, as I'm playing, even though I'm going by stats, there's some guns that I feel like the stats are incorrect on. Um, and we're going to get into one of those guns here in a second. Um, but, but yeah, man. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, man. I hope you guys find these classes helpful. Um, again, I'm out here just trying to help everybody get better at the game, have better classes. Um, because I know this TTK in this game is ass. We all hate the TTK. We're getting there, man. But let's get into these classes, man, right now. So first off the lot we have is the AK. So this is something I've been working on recently because of the Ultra Mastery grind. Um, you guys can see here that I got the calling card for the um, Interstellar Mastery. So I've been using it a little bit. And before I was running a um, red dot over a suppressor <laughs> because I felt like the suppressors um, in this game right now are kind of weak <laughs> overall anyway. Um, the, honestly, the Sonic Suppressor is still the best suppressor in the game if you're looking for a damage increase for your muzzle. Um, no other muzzle does better damage uh, throw-out-wise than uh, the Sonic. Uh, I think the second best currently is the, um, is the VT7 uh, Spirit Fire. Um, that one is the second best. Now, you could say that the Sonic is worse than the spear fire i'm still doing some testing to see how much of a difference that vertical recoil and horizontal recoil uh, is but um the sonic doesn't nearly hinder your ads speed um pretty much at all actually you can see it doesn't affect it at all compared to the spitfire so if you're trying to build a quick build that has that extra damage um then the Sonic is where you want it, but if you're building a slower build, this is like I think for Warzone, the Spear of Fire will be your probably your go-to suppressor because you have the damage increases. Then you also have that vertical and horizontal recoil control increase. Um, but I don't feel like that recoil when we're building classes, I'm building them with that Bruin support heavy grip, which pretty much takes care of your recoil pretty much entirely. Um, you can test my my hypothesis by literally using any MW2 gun, throwing on your normal MW2 builds. Um, except instead of, say, running an optic or something, switch over for a Bruin Heavy Support Grip, and you will see your recoil be cut in nearly in half. So that grip nearly takes care of your recoil for, for pretty much anything, so really everything else can be kind of whatever. But um, I started messing with the suppressor, and I found that the this build, this new build I got here, is absolutely insane. Um, has hardly any recoil, has a really good damage output for being the AK. The AK right now is really, really inconsistent. Like, sometimes you run the AK and it just slaps. And then other times you run the AK and it's just, like, the most useless piece of machinery you've ever used in your entire life. Um, and I think that is due to the fact that the AK is just the worst of the category for assault rifles. Um, because you have, like, the MTZ, which is God tier right now. The G36 is amazing. You have the ACR is amazing. Um, the DG is still really pretty really good, and then you obviously have the FAMAS, and the FAMAS really isn't that bad. I think what hurts the FAMAS is it has it's a I think four round burst or five round burst or whatever. Um, so you're you're feel like your your recoil feels heavier just because you're using you know you're shooting more rounds at a single time. But um, compared to those guns, the AK pretty much really is on the lower side of the spectrum when it comes to assault rifles, especially if you go against MW2 assault rifles, like the other AKs on MW2 seem to be performing a lot better. Um, so like if you're gonna run an AK, I mean, it would make sense to run one of the good or like better AKs that has more attachments and, and stuff like that, more damage and stuff. But if you're running the AK, I'm gonna leave this up for a few more seconds here. This is the best cast setup I came with it. Um, obviously you could change a couple things. If you don't wanna run a 60 round magazine, you could run a stock, like a folding stock and get that ADS speed really up. Or you can get rid of the 60 rounder and put an optic on your gun, like a, like a, laser, a sight refactor or the uh, ELO. Uh, but that's up to you, really. Uh, I prefer having the more ammo because, you know, uh, I'm a Marine at heart and Marines at heart. Uh, we always, there's a saying in the Marines uh, that you never had up too much ammo. So, you know, being a Marine at heart, even though I'm not a Marine, I, I, Marine at heart, you know, got to have all the ammo. And you'll see no set through all my builds. All my builds run the, he the heaviest mag, um, which we'll be talking about here in the next gun which I also made a change. So let's hop over that gun. 
So over here to the MTZ, I've made some edits to this build as well. So this build originally was a red dot instead of the 50 round drum. And this was supposed to be my speed build. So I was running, this is my speed assault rifle, kind of like the ACR, but a, a counter to the ACR, some, a gun that could counter um, at the ACR at medium to longer ranges, but that was still speedy um, for mainly SMD. This is my main SMD gun for a while. Um, but now that I'm grinding for um, the Ultra Mastery, again, we'll go in here. I'll show you guys the Ultra Mastery. I've made a little bit of progress recently. I'm almost done with this one for the Interstellar Challenge. Um, but this build seems to be really, really good. So it has super low recoil, again, because that Sonic Suppressor, it, it really does. I feel like even though the Suppressor n negatively impacts your, your recoil, I feel like it still adds enough of a length to the barrel. I think that there's actually a length-wise situation happening in the game that's not a statistic shown to you but that does take effect because the longer the power you put on or the longer you put another muzzle on it does feel like the gun becomes not only heavier but more resilient to uh, recoil but that's just my opinion it's from playing the game for over 430 hours so far um and that's something i've taken notice too <clears throat> some cards have had things like this in the past like uh model for 2019 felt like it had this where it had like a you can make the gun heavier in a way like a, like you know weirdly heavier and that would help with the recoil but um we also swapped out again like i said before we swapped out the reticle for an optic for a bigger mag just because i've been playing shipment and obviously playing hardcore shipment or whatever core shipment you want that bigger mag instead of the optic because the iron sights and the mtz aren't that bad over here to the next gun we have will be the ACR. I have updated my ACR build. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this updated ACR build. I think I've talked about this before, but I've had uh, a different optic. So I'm just gonna run through this optic because this, this build again. So um, I switched out the slate refactor for the ELO. I feel like the ELO just works really, really well on some guns. So for example, for the AK, I was running the ECLO. For now for the ACR, I'm running the ELO. Um, and I believe I'm running the ELO for another assault rifle, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of like in this weird spot where I keep switching back and forth from slate to ELO. To slate to ELO. To slate. And I keep kind of switching back and forth. Um, and I think... It has to do with the fact that I've my play style is constantly evolving, and I think so. Like, for what I mean by that, right? I feel like I'm going rambling this this video, but um, this could be helpful to somebody that's interested um, and maybe has the same feeling. Uh, but when you're when you're playing a lot more, so when you're putting hundreds of hours in a game, you oftentimes will find that playing with different attachments can really take changes to how you play your game. So, like for example, if I'm running an A cock on my assault rifle. I'm going to be playing it horrendously different than I will be if I was running a red dot. And I feel like the ELO and the slate refector are two completely opposite spectrums of optics, but yet somehow still the same optic. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, also, the, the ELO looks more sweatier. Like, if you're seeing someone running out of an ELO, it, they just always seem to be sweatier. Um, and it just because it could be because it's a blue dot, so the ELO, or MK3 reflector is an ELO sky. It is an optic that is an ELO. Um, for people that don't know, the MK3 reflector was in Vanguard, and funny enough, was in a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare as the standard red dot scope. Yes, the Advanced Warfare red dot scope, basic red dot scope, um, was the elo as we know it from other colleges this is also the mk3 reflectors also the closest from resistance it has so the aw one was a little law taller on the edges so like you know the, the two lines was taller on aw but in in uh advanced and vanguard and as well as in this game they're shorter so actually it's, it, this one's more closely tied to the infinite warfare elo which was a smaller elo um because it's very very similar to this one pretty much um a little bit futuristic looking but same thing so i feel like it could just be that too that i have more usage with this style of red dot because usually games that have elos i'm running it so advanced warfare um i think black ops 3 had an elo i think um uh, infinite warfare had one uh, vanguard had one um I'm trying to think if there's any other cause that had one I th maybe black ops 2 had one i can't exactly remember if black ops 2 had one or not but um let me know down below if i'm, I'm, if I'm wrong or not um <clears throat> but this is the build i've been running this acr field feels really smooth i think the only thing you could do differently if you really want to um is maybe get rid of the bruin heavy support and run a suppressor i've been seeing some people run this type of build with you know so here i'll show you guys what i mean so this is the standard build right in game so pretty 
pretty straight, especially if you're bursting it. If you're not, if you're holding down the trigger, obviously it's gonna, you know, push up a little bit. But that's for every full auto gun, <laughs> because that's just how guns work, right? The, the longer you hold the trigger, the more it pushes itself up, um, because that's just how you know physics work for weaponry. Um, but if you're bursting this thing, you can see here it's really just straight laser pointer. Um, but I've been seeing a build, a lot of builds like this that are kind of the same design, but a little bit more like this. Um, and this is this is a good build too. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, boys. But this is a build that I'm thinking about trying to start uh, experimenting with. I think I'm going to experiment with this build a lot when I do the Priceless Camo Challenge, when I do the, uh, the, the you know, 300 kills with Priceless. Um, and I'll probably experiment with this, because this one does feel like it kills a little quicker. Um, but you can definitely, when you're running with it, and you'll know if you try this, this build out, it definitely feels... Um, very more recoil heavy so it definitely feels you can feel the recoil a lot more than this build but move on to the next big build that i think will be um kind of crucial uh coming up here in this season especially for warzone is the ram 7 man the ram 7 is just i think this is going to be one of the best assault rifles in the game at some point down the line i think right now it's still it's still fighting for number one for from the g36 mcc and the acr I still think those three assault rifles are still dominant in this game. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. I really hope the G36 doesn't, because I think it's one of the best feeling weapons in the game. It just feels really feels like it was designed for this game. Um, but the Ram 7 get up there, man. I think that the Ram 7 has a chance to be something better than what the ACR is. And I hope that the Ram 7 is a gun that they allow in the ranked play mode. And I think I think that'll we have seen DLCs in rank before. I think the M13B I think was in ranked last year. Um, so I would really like to see them add this as a DLC gun for rank because it's a really good comp weapon, man. It, you can make it really small, you can make it really long, and it still performs extremely well online. But this is the build I've been running currently. This is my Warzone isk build. Um, you can see it says Ram Long. So my Ram, my usually builds that are long. <clears throat> so if I name a build like say ACR Long or LMG Long or something, that's usually terminology for me for Warzone. And anything less base name um, is usually like universal. And then anything that says short or MP or comp, comp are usually like the multiplayer only builds. Um, so for this one right here, I'm showing you guys the, the long build because I gave someone this build recently because they were wanting, they wanted a long build for the Ram. So I'm running the slate, the 60 rounder, the retort, 90 grip tape, the Cronin hand headwind uh, barrel, and then the Bruin heavy support um, under barrel. Works really, really well, but I'll show you guys my MP build that I've been running when I do run MP, um, which is this, the Ram, but I put the suppressed Boreal uh, barrel because that barrel has, I think, the better damage plus the suppressor effect. Recon comp, the retort, 90 grip, 6 round mag, and a heavy support. So you see I'm not running an optic on this build. I think the Ram 7 has really, really solid optics. Um, I think in recent years, we're getting really, really, really a lot better um, default iron sights uh, than we have in the past couple of years, right? Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like World War II had some <laughs> really bad iron sights on some of their guns. Um, some were really good, some were really bad. Uh, and I think overall, this game has majority of its iron sights in this game are solid. You can run most guns in this game with iron sights. But again, if you want to change up these classes, which I think I might do today, I might change up some of these classes to put the MK3 reflector on and kind of just mess with them a little bit. Um, this is something definitely to try out. I think try both guns out. I think both work in MP, but obviously this one's a little bit quicker. This is obviously a more speedy build compared to the other one. If you want to make this even faster, put like, um, I think there's a 40 rounder for this gun, right? Yeah, 40 rounder, put that 40 rounder on instead of the, 50, the 60. You're going to lose 20 bullets, but you'll be a lot quicker. But that's enough talking for one video, man. That's all I'm going to show you guys. If you guys want me to do more videos breaking down different variants uh, for guns and breaking down class setups, um, I can. Um, I've been really going ham with these builds recently. Like I, I've pretty much got a build for every gun in the game. Um, and I've really just been grinding at trying to get you guys some of the best top of the line builds you can, can get out there. Any other person that says that they have better builds than me, prove it. Prove your better builds, man. Prove it. Because right now, I'm building these guns off of pure statistics from the game. And then also with um, usually tons of hours of experience. Most of these builds I've been running since I've maxed out all the guns. So I've gotten really, really comfortable with these builds. 
um, and they just feel really, really, really smooth. And again, I'm still kind of figuring out the best builds for some guns. There's some guns that I'm still confused on how to build a good build for, which is like the Sidewinder, um, the uh, the 762 MTZ. Um, there's a couple other ones in there that I'm working on. The SMGs, I'm really trying to better build for them because the builds I have right now are not the greatest builds in the world. Um, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You already know what to do, man, because y'all are intelligent mofos. Um, again, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you guys are interested in watching me live, I'll be live streaming probably tonight, streaming, um, doing some stuff. And then also, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, you can go ahead and go watch it. But I basically, I talked to a publisher and I'm getting uh, working on getting published, but that's going to be towards the end of the year. Uh, as I'm still working on the book. If you guys want to help me get some financial support for that publish, um, I have a GoFundMe currently live. I'll probably list it down below. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. Everyone that donates that will be have some in some form, either get the book guaranteed or be have their name in the credits of the book or something. I'll somehow find a way to thank everybody that helps donate to that. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. You're one of a kind. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.